Okay, more washcloth weaving today. This time it's herringbone. The last time it was houndstooth. So buckle up. I'm going to show you an overview of the process that I did to make these herringbone washcloths. I bought a course from Kelly Casanova, which I'll link below in the description. Um, so she has a course that's um, a series of videos and instructions on how to do herringbone on your rigid heddle loom. Usually you would do a thing like that on a floor loom that has multiple shafts, but you can basically do anything on a rigid heddle loom. You just have to spend the time learning how to do it. It is a paid course, so I don't show in specific detail how everything was threaded and how all of the things line up to do the herringbone. Um, but if you do want to learn how to do it, it's available out there for you. So I used two 7.5 BPA he BPI heddles, a heddle rod, and a pickup stick. So I used the white sugar and cream yarn, the same that I used for the houndstooth ones, just the stuff that you can get at Joann's or wherever. The white is for the warp, it's all the same color, and then the weft is the black. So each one is going to be 17 inches from the, the beginning to the end. I did the same thing that I did with the houndstooth ones. I did two inches of 18 cotton, then I did a 13 inch body, and then another two inches. And then when I searched them, I threw, threw them in the washing machine and dryer, and they shrink up. And then, then I folded the hems to do about a half inch hem so that the whole thing ends up being a little bit shorter, that's why. Oh, my cat's shaking the camera. So the idea was for them to be about 15 inches square when they were right off the loom, assuming they would shrink about 20%, which is what I've experienced in the past with cotton, um, which would bring them to a, a 12 inch square size after they were hemmed, which is about the size of my washcloths that I already have. Here you can see the loom is all warped up and I started the weft with 8-2 cotton. So once I did two inches of that, I started again with the sugar and cream. So the warp is the white and the weft is the black. The orange stripe you may be noticing in the middle is just where I'm separating the two washcloths. I did them back to back. Similar to the houndstooth washcloths I made, these herringbone ones, I did two inches of E2 cotton. I did it in the herringbone pattern, but I did two inches of that for the hem so that I could have a nice, it works out to about a half inch, fold it over twice. So these were surged when I took them off the loom and these went through the washer and dryer already. And I will just stitch that down and press it. So these came out about 11 and a half inches long, including after I folded over the seams and they're like about 13 inches across. So a little bit wider and a little bit shorter than the herring or the houndstooth ones. I will say that this um, stitch, this is a stitch pattern if it's weaving. This pattern is a bit like looser. Um, so they're a little bit more drapey. Like there's a lot of space between 
the threads when I took them off the loom. But obviously they close up when you wash them. And it ends up looking really nice. So I calculated that everything would lose about 20%. That's approximately correct. Once I got the hems folded over twice and pressed into place, I just stitched them down on my sewing machine with black thread to match the weft. Okay, so I hope I gave you some ideas for your own weaving. I'm mostly gonna be doing more of the same, um, this black and white cotton yarn to make uh, my washcloths at least. I'll probably be doing uh, the same herringbone, just flipping the warp and the waft and the same houndstooth, just flipping dominant color and I'll do other stuff too. And if I do, I'll show you. Um, but I wanna know what you guys are making for your house. I wanna see if you're doing any rugs. I wanna see washcloths, hand towels, dish towels. What are you making? Weaving, knitting, all of it. Show me, you have to. Okay, bye.